You are listening to the Yummy Mummy Podcast, the best of episodes. Welcome to the Yummy Mummy Podcast, where you will learn brand new and shockingly different tools to lose weight for the last time. And now, here's your host, certified life and weight loss coach, Laura Conley. Hey, Yum Mums, I hope you are enjoying these best of. These are the top podcasts that we have aired over the last several years. And I have actually been getting comments from you guys that you are loving re-listening to these or listening to them in the first place. Some of these are way at the bottom of the feed. So it's really nice to have them bumped up so that you can dive into some of the faves. So if you are ready to really apply the Yummy Mummy method, come on in to the Yummy Mummy experience. It is my six-month group coaching, and coursework that literally guarantees you lose weight for the last time. You lose weight for the last time. The community is the best part. I promise you, you guys, you will love the community. Right now, we are on a wait list slash interest list, whatever you want to call it, for our April group. So we are going to start early April. We're going to lose weight for the last time. So if you want to save your spot for that April cohort, Get in there now. Go to lauraconley.com, click work with me, and add yourself to the wait list. There will be major bonuses for those of you that are on the wait list. I can't wait to see you inside. Enjoy this episode and pretty please, with a cherry on top, if it resonates with you, send this episode to your friend. Share the love. Help me free the moms. It also helps a lot if you rate, review, and follow the show. I love you so much. Have the best week ever. And I will see you inside the Emmy Mummy Experience in April. I love a new year. I actually think this could be my fun fact. I really truly think the new year, New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, the week that follows is actually one of my favorite holidays. It's not my favorite holiday, but not in the traditional sense, not like the like Let's go out on New Year's Eve and get wasted and feel super hungover. Like the adult version, like the really mature adult version of New Year's, which is like, let's reflect. Let's look back. Let's see what worked for 2020. What see what didn't work for 2020 and decide how we want to move forward based on that. So this episode is going to be dedicated to how to set a goal and to make it fun. I want you guys to stay with me if you're turned off by the word goal. So stay with me no matter what. I promise you that this episode is going to give you tons of good wisdom and insight so that you can set up 2021 to be the best year yet. Oh my God, it gives me the chills. I think that's kind of my fun fact is that New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, and kind of the days preceding and following is one of my favorite times of year because I really love setting intentions, setting resolutions, setting goals, and then going for it. Yes, I love achieving the goals, but setting them in and of itself is such a fun activity for me. I love visualizing and imagining, and I love being on the journey to achieving those things that I want to create simply because it's fun. So let's talk about, you guys, before we really dive in, I'm going to give you all the how-tos. This, you guys, is your one-stop shop for how to set up your new year. So you don't have to worry about taking this workshop or that workshop or learning how to do a vision board. I mean, of course you can do all that, but I want you to trust me in this can really be your one-stop shop in setting up your new year. Now, a lot of you guys know that I used to do a ton of vision and goal coaching before I officially became the yummy mummy weight loss coach. But of course, you guys know I teach my clients how to create a vision and how to set a goal and how to achieve it. It's an integral part of weight loss, obviously. So let's dive into the client comment before I teach you every single little thing that you need to know in order to make 2021 your absolute best year yet. I know some of you guys are really craving that. This client comment comes from Darcy and she just randomly the other day you guys posted in our Facebook group. So if you're not in the Yummy Mummy, Wear Your Dream Weight and Body Drama and Get Food Freedom Facebook group, you need to be inside. It's a private group. It's free. 
I drop all kinds of hot tips and tricks inside there. We do the free coaching frenzy every week inside there. It's just a really great supportive community. So if you're looking for that, I strongly suggest you come and join. And the link in order to do that is in the show notes. You can also just go to Facebook and type in the Yummy Mummy Way Your Dream Weight and Body Drama and get food freedom and it'll pop up. So Darcy says inside the Facebook group, first off, happy holidays to everyone. Today I woke up not only feeling grateful of so many things, but I also felt good about where I'm at. I don't know about you, but I have what I call my gold jeans. I try them on once a week to see how close I am to them comfortably buttoning. Although the shimmy dance was part of the start, I'm proud to say they go up with little to no effort. Now, I am also here to say I have work to put in. Life has prevented me from getting on and listening to all the Facebook lives. However, your message my message, right, you guys, the yummy mummy message. She says, your message is always in my brain. This is not always, like, you guys, this is making me laugh because all my clients are always like, I swear to God, you're just like walking around with me, driving around with me. You're like in my brain all the time telling me what to do and what not to do. She goes on to say, and for that, I'm grateful. It's important for us to remember we are the controller of our happiness and that comes from within. This support from this community has been immeasurable and I am thankful for you. Oh, I'm thankful for you, Darcy. Thank you so much for sharing your gratitude and for sharing your success because it is so inspiring for the rest of the community to be able to hear that because we all know if you can do it, we can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. So let's dive in, you guys. Let's talk about the word goal. I touched on it a moment before. If you notice that you kind of get triggered by the word goal, I want to address that because you may be selling yourself short. You can call a goal whatever you want to call it, intention, aspiration, resolution. Find a word that you like and go for it. Now, here's the reason why some people hate the word goal or even intention or resolution. I think it's because they don't want to set a goal Because if they don't achieve the goal that they set, they're going to make it mean something negative about who they are as a human being. And so that is one rule I want to present to you guys right off the bat. If you set a goal for weight loss or for money or for your career or for your relationship, whatever it is, under no circumstances do you get to make you achieving that goal mean anything about who you are, about your worthiness, about your good enoughness. This doesn't mean you let yourself off the hook. This doesn't mean you don't go all in. This doesn't mean you don't commit. This doesn't mean you don't work your booty off until December 31st at 11.59 p.m. You put it all out there. You leave it on the field, right? But if you don't get there, you don't get to make it mean that you are a failure as a person. No, you're not. I just want to challenge you to go for it this year. I want you to set aside any of your old belief systems around goals if they trigger you or intentions or resolutions. Because what if setting a goal or setting an intention or an aspiration really served you, really pushed you to grow, really pushed you to be who you were meant to be and, you know, got you to your goal weight or got you to your dream come true relationship or whatever it may be. So I don't want you to sell yourself short. How about just for this year, you try setting a goal or an intention and see what you think. As long as you promise to yourself, I'm not going to make whether or not I achieve this goal, mean anything about my worthiness as a human. You guys, your worthiness is innate. It's infinite. You come worthy, whether you like it or not. This is just a fact, okay? So let's really dive in on the how. You can do this as you listen to me, or you can listen and then use my suggestions as like journal prompts or as like vision prompts. So I'll write these exact steps for you in the show notes so you don't have to worry about memorizing them perfectly, but you can kind of also just do it along with me as I'm saying it. So it's totally up to you. This is going to be your big takeaway. I like to give you guys a big takeaway every single podcast, but your big takeaway is coming at you for the majority or the remainder of the episode, okay? I want you to start by brainstorming now or by writing down now everything that you want. 
set the timer for two minutes and just write down everything that you want in life, okay? And I want you to pepper this list with things that you really want that you already have. So maybe number one and two are things that you want that you don't have. Maybe three and four are things that you want that you already do have and so on and so forth, okay? And then I want you to just pick one big thing. I want you to look at your list and pick one thing. Now your brain is going to want to fight me on this. It's not going to want to pick one thing to focus on for 2021. It's going to want to pick all the things because your brain thinks that it can achieve all the things. Let me give you an example. Let me give you a real life example. So you guys, I've been obsessed with setting goals since like high school. I've always loved goals, but I want to tell you when I up leveled my goal setting. This was about five years ago when I decided to take my coach, Brooke Castillo, up on her suggestion to just pick one big thing to focus on for the year. My brain really wanted to freak out at first because it was like one thing. Well, then I'm not going to get the 19 other things done that I want to get done. But here's what happens if you focus on one thing and you constrain down to one thing. You develop crazy focus and discipline, and then these skills become transferable and you end up almost effortlessly, you guys, getting the other things done. So just for this year, I want you to also take me up on this idea of picking one big thing. Doesn't mean you can't do other things. Like for example, you guys, last year, my big goal was to lose the baby weight. So I had already healed my relationship with my body and with food several years ago, but my one big goal for 2020 was to lose the baby weight, to lose 30 pounds, really. And that was my one big focus, my one big goal. But I did have other small things like you guys have probably seen on social media, if we're friends, if you follow me, (laughs) that we did the 52 hikes in 52 weeks challenge. So My family and I went out and did 52 hikes, including my one-year-old, including my three-year-old. The hike didn't count unless they were with us. So that was another thing that was on my list, but it wasn't like a big, huge, major goal, right? It was sort of just like a little side item. So it's fine if you want to have some little tiny side items like write down what you're grateful for every day or do 52 hikes or whatever. I'm down for that. But when it's like a huge thing, like lose 30 pounds or when it's a huge thing, like make partner at the firm or get married or find my partner or save $50,000 for a down payment. I want you guys focusing on just that one big thing. Okay. So look at the list that you've now made. And you guys might already know, it might be very loud and clear. I'm guessing if you're listening to this podcast, your one big thing may be to lose weight for the last time, okay? So that's the example that we're gonna use as I continue to teach you how to write a goal and how to have it be fun. (laughs) So you're picking that one big thing, okay? So let's do what mine was. I weigh between 118 and 123 by December 31st, 2020. That was mine for last year. So if yours is a weight loss goal, could be I weigh 135 by December 31st, 2021 or by June 30th, 2021. Anything, one big thing. And you guys, this one big thing should be the thing that you want more than anything in the whole world. I love to ask myself the question, like if I achieved this one big thing, I could just take a huge sigh of relief. I could just relax. It's like everything would be right in the world if I could just tackle this one big thing. So I really want you to go big this year. If losing weight has been on your list for a long, long time, I want you to pick it and I want you to let go of everything else because my guess is if you're not losing the weight, right? And it's not just the physical weight. You guys hear me talk about this all the time. It's the physical, it's the emotional, It's the mental and the spiritual weight of you having extra weight on your body, okay? So I want you to just pick this one thing. Now, if you're somebody who's just taken lose weight off the list because you feel like it's so impossible, I want you to put it back on the list and to be brave and to stay with me because it is possible for you. Do you guys know I did that? I had lose weight, heal my relationship with body and food on my goal list for I mean, it never wasn't on my goal list until I think like 2014, I just took it off. I was like, you know what? Screw this. I obviously can't solve this. 
I obviously can do everything else in the world, but nope, can't do this. Like (laughs) my coach has a book called, if I'm so smart, why can't I lose weight? And that's exactly what I thought about myself. And so I actually had it off of my list, which is super sad and defeating and disappointing. I was like, it doesn't even, it shouldn't even go up on the list of goals anymore because I can't do it. Like I really, you guys had thrown in the towel. It's so sad. So I really want to encourage you guys to not do that. I have your back and you can do this. So put it on your goal list. That's the one big thing, right? Make it the one big thing and go for it. Okay, so far, we haven't gotten too far yet, you guys. Stay with me. All I have had you do so far is write down everything that you want, everything in the whole world that you want, pepper it with everything that you want that you already have, and then step two, pick one big thing that will really let you up that you know is the most important thing to you, okay? Step three, I want you to write down your reason why. Why do you want this? You guys, you have got to get juicy here. I want these reasons to light you up, to compel you, to move you forward. I want there to be a deep resonance, okay? So let's take the example of I lose 20 pounds by December 31st, 2021, okay? Why? Why do you want that, you guys? Why do you want to lose weight? My reasons, I know that my weight represents so much more than the number on the scale. I know that it represents me healing my relationship with food and my body. And that is my huge reason. I want to be able to pass down the legacy that I want to pass down to my daughter and my son around food, body image, self-love, all of that. So that's a huge reason for me. And that has been in the past a huge reason for me. Now, you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Some days that reason just doesn't light me up. It just doesn't light me up. I'm like, okay, I don't care about that today. Like the cupcake looks way better than passing down a legacy to my daughter. Isn't that embarrassing? I can't believe I'm admitting that to you guys out loud. But you guys, you have to get real honest with yourself. Some days that reason, this quote unquote, I'm making little air quotes with my fingers, that reason isn't going to light you up. So you have to have some backup reasons ready to go right on deck. So I had like, I just want to look really hot in that little romper that's sitting in my closet, or I want to be comfortable in my bikini, or I want to make space in my brain to create the business I want. And I can do that if I'm not constantly thinking about what I'm going to eat or what I just ate or what new diet I'm going to try or why is this taking so long? So Figure out your reasons why. Why do you want to lose weight for the last time? They have to let you up. I also like like moving my body just feels so much better when I'm at my natural weight. So like rolling around on the floor with my kids and like even just like teaching my daughter how to ride a bike, like running around, bending over, hiking. I mentioned that hiking with my family. It's just it's all easier when I'm at my natural weight. So a lot of times that's my reason why just my overall health too my health, my energy levels. That's a huge why for me. So you guys can borrow some of these whys if your big goal is to lose weight for the last time. So we've got through step one, step two, step three, step four. I want you to write down exactly what you'll do and not do to get there. Now, this could change from day to day. Like for example, when I was losing the last 30 pounds, my how definitely changed over the year. For example, I got down to like 130, 133, and I was like plateauing majorly. Hey, you guys, side note with a plateau, you can't lose weight for the last time and not plateau. Like, just so you know, everybody plateaus. I'm going to talk about that a little bit, though, because I had to change up what I was doing and not doing in order to come into my natural weight. I noticed I was actually still overeating a little bit and I was snacking in the afternoon. And so for me, I had to remove that snack. I actually don't even call it a snack because I think snacks are typically when we're not using food for fuel, right? It's usually because we're like bored or we need a little pick me up midday or so I was eating like this very small meal at like four o'clock and I just removed that in order to get to the next step. So You might not know exactly what you will do and not do to get there, but I do want you writing down exactly what that plan is for the next month. And then I want you to go and test that plan. 
test it against your goal so you can see if your how is working. And then come February 1st, you can reassess. Is this working? Is my plan working for me? And you can decide to add some things or take out some things. And of course, you guys, I can help with that if you need help. So that's it. Write down everything that you want. Pepper it with the things that you want that you already have. Pick one big thing. Write down your reason why you want this big thing. And this is reasons, you guys. This is as many as you can come up with. I would actually challenge you to come up with at least 20. I know that sounds crazy. And if you can't come up with 20, I'll help you. Ask, why do I want to lose 30 pounds or 20 pounds or 50 pounds? Well, because I want to look hot in a bikini for my trip this summer. But why do you want to look hot in a bikini? Do you see what I just did there? I asked why again. Well, because it's going to be just really fun to not have to worry about covering up when I'm sitting at the beach or worry about like how I'm going to get in the pool and then out of the pool or you know what? I want to look good in my bathing suit because I want to be able to say yes when my daughter asks to go to the pool at her friend's house and her mom wants me to come, right? And why do you want to do that? Well, because I want to be able to say yes on a whim. I don't want to say no to my daughter having fun in her life because of the way that I'm in relationship with my body. Why else? Well, you know what? I am actually looking for more connections with my child's friend's parents. So I would actually love to make friends with so-and-so's mom, right? But why do you want to make friends? And you guys can keep going. Well, I love having friends (laughs) or whatever, you know? I feel like... It lights me up when I make connections in the community. So that's how you can get to deeper and deeper and deeper whys. And then lastly, you guys, I talked about writing down exactly what you will do and not do to get there. Remember, don't be married to this. Be willing to let your how evolve. Like I explained, I had to get rid of that small meal in order to get to my goal. You might have to make tweaks. I don't want you making tweaks every day. I want you making tweaks once a month maximum. Okay, so from there, you guys, the last thing I'm going to tell you, we're going to follow everything I just talked about up with a podcast coming at you next week on commitment. So you know how to stay committed and you know how to deal with obstacles that come up. So here's what I want you to do, though. Every single day, and I do this, you guys, I write down my goal every single day. I'll even show you my journal. I mean, I wish I could show you my journal. This is a podcast, so I can't do that right now. But I can show you on a Facebook Live. Anyways, so you guys, I really want you to write your goal down every single day. And I want you to write down one of your whys, one of your compelling reasons. And then I want you to write down exactly what you're going to do in order to get to that goal. Like I literally write down what I'm going to eat for the day. So I'll open my journal for you guys right now. I'll just pick a day. Okay, so it says, right? I weigh between 118 and 123 by December 31st, 2020. Why? Because I want to be an example to my daughter. And that lit me up for that day. This was back in October, October 2nd. Why? Because I want to pass down a legacy that I want to pass down to my daughter. And then I just write exactly what I'm going to eat. So I'm going to eat a veggie bowl. Apparently, I'm going to eat a veggie bowl on this day. (laughs) I'm going to eat a veggie bowl and then I'm going to have salmon and roasted vegetables for dinner. I'm going to have a glass of wine. I'm going to have some coffee and I'm going to have 12 pecans. You guys, I'm such a fan of pecans. I feel like they're like the unsung hero of nuts. Pecans are so yummy. Also, they're really delicious if you do them just like on a pan with some grass-fed butter and some salt. Oh my God, for like seven minutes, you just roast them up. Crunchy goodness. So you guys can see, I wrote down my goal, I wrote down my why, and I wrote down exactly what I was going to do in order to stay committed on that day. So I just want you doing that every single day. Now, if you're somebody who's like, well, I might forget, okay, put a screensaver up, set an alarm on your phone, do it with a friend and send them a text. There's so many cool ways that you can remind yourself to sit down and write down your goal. You guys, it takes 30 freaking seconds. Okay, maybe two minutes max. If you want help on this, you guys, you guys probably know that I did just come out with the Yummy Mummy, a daily diary. And this has these prompts in there, among others. 
So that can really help support you. If you want a soft copy of that, you can go to the show notes and I'll link to it as well. And it is just such a good resource. It's basically what I have all my clients do. And it's basically what I do every single day too. So go ahead and get going, you guys. Write down your goal every single day and go for it. The last thing I want to say about you writing down your goal, a lot of people will write, I am going to lose 30 pounds or I will lose 30 pounds or I will weigh 135 or whatever it is, I actually don't want you doing that. I want you writing it in the first person present tense. I know this might not be like grammatically correct. I don't care. There's so much more power when you write it in the first person present tense. For example, I weigh 118 to 123 by December 31st, 2020. That was what I wrote every single day. Can you guys see I weigh is so much more powerful then I am going to weigh or I'm going to try to weigh. No, I weigh. It's like you're declaring it. I really, I really feel like you are announcing exactly who you are now. It's so much more powerful. So do be sure that you write it in the first person present tense and do be sure you give yourself a deadline, right? I talked a little bit about the drama that can come up with deadlines. Set a deadline and go for it. Okay. Now don't make the deadline mean anything negative about who you are as a human being. Just go. Let it light you up. Let it motivate you. Let it inspire you. Don't let it weigh you down. You get to decide if your deadline weighs you down or if it lights you up. Now here's the other thing I want to say about the deadline. Make it easy, you guys. Okay. Move away from diet mentality and diet culture. Please, please, I'm begging you to not make the goal, I lose 30 pounds in 30 days. No, give yourself the year, but go all in on a daily basis. Don't give yourself a year to lose the 30 pounds or 50 pounds or whatever it is for you, and then wait until July to get started. Give yourself a lot of leeway, more than your brain wants to, right? I gave myself, you guys, a whole year to lose 30 pounds, a whole entire year. And by the way, I didn't make it. I'm one pound away. Isn't that crazy? But I'm probably going to achieve it like this week. So I want to give you that nugget as well. Keep going until you get there. The how and the when is really none of your business. You're just trying to gently figure it out as you go. So give yourself more leeway than you think is necessary and get to work day in and day out. Hey, if you've enjoyed listening to this podcast, I would love it, love it, if you leave a rate, review, and a subscribe on whatever you're listening to this podcast in. Pretty, pretty pleased with a cherry on top. It would help me so much and it would help all the other mamas out there hear this message. Thank you in advance. I really appreciate it. And you have to come check out the Yummy Mummy Experience. It's my proven lose weight for the last time group coaching and course. Head to lauraconley.com and just click work with me. Other than that, you guys, I would love to give you a free gift. If you want your free listener only gift, go to lauraconley.com forward slash gift. And from there, you will get your free best ever weight loss hack. So cool. The last thing I want to tell you, you guys, is I do have a free Facebook group. It's called, you guessed it, The Yummy Mummy. Lose weight for the last time, end body drama, and get food freedom. You can just search that on Facebook, or again, you can head to the show notes and you'll find the link there. All right, you guys, have the best day ever.